Welcome to this three-minute update from your FSU Alumni Association coming to you from Alumni Hall where we just finished celebrating this year's 2013 Young Alumni Awards, including recipients of the Reuben Askew Young Alumni Award, which included Rhodes Scholar Joe O'Shea, Weather Channel storm expert Michael Lowry, and tech company executive Chad Corbett. The night also included the introduction of this year's class of 30 under 30, graduates under the age of 30 who are making names for themselves all across the land. Being up there with all these amazing student leaders and leaders around the room and just members of the FSU community, I was really humbled to be up there and just to know that other people are bleeding garden gold around the country is, makes me feel really good. Well, earlier this spring, your alumni association was able to shine the spotlight on another group of alumni and friends as five new members were welcomed into the circle of gold, including Heisman Trophy winner Charlie Ward and former FSU basketball player and coach Hugh Durham. My journey here to Florida State uh, started um, as a little, little boy uh, from Thomasville, Georgia, uh, getting an opportunity to watch Florida State athletics on, on TV. It was a big day for everyone who holds an FSU degree as Governor Rick Scott signs legislation allowing FSU to claim preeminent status and collect an additional $15 million a year in state revenue. President Eric Barron plans on using those funds to get FSU into the top 25 rankings of public universities. From the viewpoint of Florida State University, here's an opportunity to innovate. We've been cutting and cutting. It's so hard to innovate, to start to think about those exciting areas of, of, of research that will promote careers and jobs for this state if every year you're deciding what you're going to give up. So this is the first time in quite a long time that we can begin to reinvest. Well, around the horn we go with a wrap-up of spring events, including Leadership Conference, as the Alumni Association hosted volunteers from around the country who head up our alumni chapters. We call them Seminole Clubs. The weekend included a series of seminars as the leaders traded best practices and some fun, including a bowling night with FSU athletes. And the treat of treats, those volunteers were serenaded with the FSU fight song from the man who wrote the music more than a half century ago. West now, where our Seminole Club in San Diego spent a day at the ball yard celebrating alumnus Buster Posey, whose San Francisco Giants were paying a visit to the Padres, and the reigning National League Most Valuable Player took some time to meet his fellow Seminoles. What a class guy is Buster Posey. Well, each April, our Emeritus Alumni Society welcomes a new class into its ranks. This year, it was the class of 1963, which returned for its 50th reunion. Welcome graduates to a most prestigious club. Well, the doors to the President's House were open for members of our Black Alumni Association as President and Mrs. Barron hosted a cocktail reception. The President used the occasion to speak about FSU's extraordinary success in graduating African American students. On the road now with lifelong Seminoles and our College of Human Sciences for an academic program on living longer and better. Dr. Lynn Panton and Dr. Michael Ormsby joined us in Jacksonville and West Palm Beach for seminars on successful longevity. Well, it's a tradition that FSU goes on the road to New York in the first month of May. Mostly it's about celebrating our rich arts tradition, but the Alumni Association decided to celebrate our young alumni who turned out in mass for a successful networking event. Speaking of networking, we've been helping our young alumni in the job market with a series of job fairs from Washington, D.C. to Orlando. Look for more career-themed programming coming your way soon. That's what's been going on in the life of your FSU Alumni Association. To our members, thank you for helping us keep the FSU community connected. It strengthens your Florida State degree. If you're not a member, you can join by calling the number on the screen. That's going to do it for this edition of Illumination. On behalf of the 300,000 alumni around the world, I'm Scott Atwell. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.